Hello everyone, welcome to the video on how to build a well-architected Selling Partner API application. In this video, we'll guide you through the key aspects for creating a robust and optimized SP API integration. Following these best practices will elevate the quality of your application and provide a superior experience for selling partners. It will also help reduce your infrastructure and networking costs, optimize resource utilization, and maintain data freshness. This video is intended for anyone using the Selling Partner API application, whether you have an existing integration or are building a new SP API application. We've observed that approximately 30% of the traffic to the Selling Partner API platform is unessential from both a customer and Amazon perspective. By unessential, we mean traffic that, if omitted, would not impact the core functionality of your solution. This can occur, for example, when your requests are being throttled and you have to execute 10 requests before the 11th one succeeds. Ideally, those 10 initial requests were unnecessary. To build a well-architected SP API application, we recommend focusing on four key pillars. One, reduced error rate. Two, efficient batch processing. Three, adopting async mechanisms. Four, modern API usage. Let's dive into each of these pillars. Reduced error rate. Minimizing errors in your API calls is crucial for providing a smooth experience for selling partners. Common HTTP 4xx errors include 400 invalid input, 403 unauthorized API calls, 404 resources not found, and 429 throttling. The first step in reducing errors is to monitor API error responses and set up an error monitoring and alerting system. This typically involves the following steps. Log API responses. Collect complete API response data, including status codes, headers, error messages. Anonymize sensitive information before secure storage to enable analysis and categorization of errors. Categorize errors. Organize the logged errors into relevant buckets based on HTTP status codes. Create an error dashboard. Visualize the error rates for each API operation and error type on a centralized dashboard to quickly identify problematic areas. Set alerting thresholds. Define appropriate thresholds for each error type and set up alerts to proactively notify you when error rates exceed those thresholds. Here is an example using AWS services. Capture and store the detailed API response data using Amazon Cloud Watch Logs. Create custom metric filters to categorize error messages using Amazon CloudWatch metrics filters. Create dashboard to visualize error rates using Amazon QuickSight. Monitor the error metrics and trigger notifications when thresholds are breached using Amazon CloudWatch alarms. Then, once the monitoring system is set up, you can implement error handling strategies, such as validating request parameters for 400 and 404, checking token and role access, for 403 and implementing exponential backoff and retry mechanisms for 429. Please review the next video in the playlist Error Handling Best Practices in the series for more details on error handling. Let's look into the next pillar. Efficient Batch Processing Leveraging bulk or batch operations can significantly improve efficiency and performance compared to making numerous individual API calls. In SP API, this can be done using batch operations, bulk download and bulk upload. Batch operations. SP API supports a set of batch operations which performs the same action as one-on-one -on -one calls but for a batch of requests at a time. The user can send in the applicable number of requests, mostly 20, in a single API call instead of doing one-on-one. -on -one. Current use cases supported are searching products using catalog API, fetching offer or pricing information, getting fee estimate for products. This mapping table shows available batch operations in SP API and their corresponding one-on-one -on -one operations. Next up is bulk download. To request and retrieve data in bulk, you can use reports or the data kiosk feature. Reports API provides reports for a variety of use cases, including monitoring inventory, tracking orders for fulfillment, managing a selling business with fulfillment by Amazon, and more. Refer to report type values for the available report types. Instead of calling multiple one-on-one -on -one API calls to fetch the data, one report API call will render the same information. 
Data Kiosk is a new REST API that supports GraphQL query operations for dynamic report capabilities. GraphQL is a query language for APIs that enables clients to request and receive the data they need in a single request, providing a more efficient dynamic report generation and advanced filtering and querying capabilities. Bulk Upload With the Feeds API, information can be uploaded in bulk to Amazon. There are feeds available for a wide variety of use cases, such as creating listings, managing inventory and prices, acknowledging orders, and more. Refer to feed type values for the list of available feed types. This will allow bulk upload of thousands of rows as against one-on-one -on -one calls. The next pillar is adopting async mechanisms. Staying up to date with the latest changes and events in the selling partner ecosystem is essential. The Selling Partner API provides the Notifications API, which you can use to build an event-driven architecture. With the Notifications API, you can subscribe to different event types and receive notifications about relevant changes to Selling Partner's businesses. SP API currently supports 21 notification use cases, including order management, catalog management, and pricing. Refer to notification types in the documentation for more details. SP API offers two workflows to receive notifications. One workflow uses Amazon Simple Queue Service, and the other uses Amazon EventBridge as routers for events. Depending on the notification type you want to subscribe to, you'll need to implement one of these workflows. Notification filters are available for select notifications, allowing you to customize the notification payload. Final pillar is modern API usage. The selling partner APIs are continuously evolving, with new features and improvements being introduced over time. Apps that adopt the latest API versions can access newer features and functionality, enhancing the selling partner experience. Stay up to date on new features and deprecations by subscribing to the SP API RSS feed and tracking the announcements. We also provide deprecation reminders every month, consolidating upcoming API deprecations. By focusing on these four pillars, you can build a well-architected SP API application that is reliable, efficient, and responsive to the needs of your customers. For detailed guidance, please refer to the resource links provided in the description below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to SP API channel for more videos and content.